Okay, two slits are separated by a distance of 0.245 millimeters. So our D is 0 0.245 times 10 to the minus third meters. Okay, the interference pattern has bright fringes, so the S on the screen, right, is 0 0.0141 meters. The distance to the screen is, that's the big D, right? Little d is the distance between the slits, right? Okay. Big D is the distance to the screen. It's a big distance. It's a big D for a big distance. Okay, so what's the wavelength of light? So um, in the data packet, they say S is lambda D over D. So therefore, um, I guess lambda would be just S D over big D, right? So that's 0 0.0141 meters. Okay, times, uh, and that's the distance on the screen, right? The distance between the slits is 0.245 times 10 to the minus third. We're going to divide all of that by 5.59. All right, that's meters and meters divided by meters. 0 0.0141 times 0.245 minus 3 divided by 5.59. And when I do all that, I get 6.1797 times 10 to the minus 7th meters, which is 618 nanometers. Okay. So now it says, what is the distance on the screen between the central maximum and the fourth order maximum? Okay. Now, you can make this as hard as you want. You can use d sine theta. You can find that angle. You can do sine and inverse tangent. Okay. But keep in mind that on that screen, there are these dots. Here's the center. Here's the first order, the second order, the third order, the fourth order. They are each separated by 1.41 centimeters. So from the center, which is zero, right? to n equals 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 gaps that are all 1.41 centimeters long. So 4 times uh, 1.41 centimeters is equal to, what is that? Let's do it. 5.64. Now, to be sure, I was skeptical too, so I did, you know, I used uh, uh, n lambda equals d sine theta, and I found the angle, and I did the screen, and I did the inverse tangent, and it's the same number, okay? I'm gonna say, just the same number. That screen's so far away, and these are so small that this works, okay? Woohoo! Don't work too hard.